Good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on July 23rd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all for joining me, and thank you again. We're going to start here looking at the sun, as we did have that sunspot region in the center. Equatorial sunspot kind of flare up over the past 24 hours. as well some incoming sun activity as well uh, there was some backside CMEs on the sun the last few days so watching for those to come around in the next 24 hours but still watching the corona being disturbed on both sides of our sun the antipode area of those filament eruptions that I showed yesterday. We'll go over here to the Pacific Disaster Center. Let's look at the last, the latest, sorry, uh, disaster alerts from around the world. And most recently, we now have two tropical storms to talk about, one named and one not named. And as well, a notable six point zero earthquake struck the Bella in the Islands region about an hour ago and that is the largest earthquake the last seven days 6.0 at a 10 kilometer depth also notable over here is minor earthquakes that have happened in Central America around Fuego and Reventador as well in Peru. And here is the track for Tropical Storm Dalila, who is in the Pacific Ocean heading north northwest. And as well, we have Tropical Depression number three, who has formed in the Florida Panhandle and is expected to scathe the southeastern seaboard of the United States. Now, this is a situation here in Russia. The fires continue to keep burning hundreds of thousands of hectares, throwing Russia into a smoky, smoky climate. I wanted to show you a NASA worldview, what it looks like, as it's insane. Look at all that smoke in a large, low pressure system just to the west of it all, getting ready to suck it all up. Insane amount of hot spots and fires in Russia. It's almost doubled from last year. Stay aware and prepared. Let's get to earthquakes here. The last 24 hours, would you look at this 24 hour map? Very busy. We had a lot of Tremors in California, growing and moving north with a 3.7 here in Ferndale, California, 27 kilometer depth. But the notable, as I said earlier, are these Central America earthquakes, the 4.6 there, 4.5 in Mexico as well. 4.5 in Guatemala, 4.9 in Ecuador, Palora, and as well, 4.8 in Chile. Notable as well, 5.0 here in Iran, and this was recorded yesterday. And then all these earthquakes, North China, South China, and as well, Western parts of the Ring of Fire just lighting up overnight earthquakes straight through the Marianas Trench and into Japan and as well Russia large 5.2 in Indonesia last night and then as well this large 6.0 Bella in the Islands region that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes as I said very busy stay aware and prepared 
I've been feeling these energies. They are invading me. I can definitely feel the changes that are coming about on our planet. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. Largest being 6.0 in Bellany Islands region, just recent. But a lot of action. West side, Ring of Fire, and Subduction Zone, Caribbean. Stay aware, prepared. Mexico, Cascadia Fault Line. I do believe that we're going to have some action there in the next 24 hours. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike, overlooking tropical storm number three. As you can see, it gets uh, smashed into a high pressure ridge over the United States, heads straight up the eastern seaboard. Tropical storm Delilah, again, smashing into a high pressure ridge, won't last too long. Across Alberta and the plains, watch for you. a large low to come from the north. Definitely going to bring some extreme weather across the prairies. Stay aware and prepared, Alberta. We've got a heat wave we're experiencing today. It's 31 degrees, feeling like 36. That's about 95, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Situation here in Panama as well. Torrential downpours in this region. Panama, Ecuador. South America, Brazil. Definitely seen some extreme weather events yesterday. They had a really high tide, low tide, big waves. Large low pressure system here heading over Buenos Aires later in the week. But definitely cool temperatures and a lot of snowfall. Argentina as those large low pressure systems just keep spinning south of it very intense large lows across Australia not much to talk about southeastern weather it's about it and cool South Africa cooling down bringing a little bit of rain with that large low pressure system Watch here, one, two low pressure systems involved with that. But that's pretty much it for moisture and wind for Africa. Leave you here looking at our Southern Hemisphere and Northern Hemisphere. North Pole and South Pole. Thanks everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.